know, the last three games, even though you guys have won. Do, do you feel like you've done enough in terms of contributing, and, and would you like to, I guess, be more involved in, in the offense moving forward? Um, you know, I'm, I'm here to do what they ask of me. Um, you know, when the play comes in the huddle, I line up and I go. So that's kind of where my focus has been is, uh, you know, doing what I can to help this team, uh, help this team get better. Uh, you know, so it, it, we, we got quite a few games left in the season. Uh, it's just a long season. So I'm going to continue to focus on that. Is it one of those things that's just going to come, right? Like, you know, if you, if you keep doing what you're doing, it, it eventually will come. I mean, that's that's the goal. Usually, you know, things start opening up and the playbook start opening up a little bit more. So we'll see. I know when you came here, you wanted to, to do great things. That hasn't changed. You still have very high expectations, right? Absolutely. My goals are the same. My goals have not changed uh, since I wrote them down at the beginning of the season. So uh, we're, we're still pursuing great things, and we're still pursuing the numbers that, that I wrote down. So that, that's still my focus, and that's still my goal. So you're not going to tell us what the numbers are? No, nah, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> But let's, needless to say, they were high, right? Yeah, for sure. Right. Instead of getting a bad rap, I, the fans here are so they're spoiled with Drew Brees, obviously, and so people are obviously going to compare Teddy to him. Is he getting a? I mean, he, he looks like he's doing well, and he's not. He's obviously not Drew, but is he getting a bad rap from that? I really like when you say bad rap. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't read stories. No, the I don't read they have social media. None of that. I, I don't. I don't really know, you know. Um, I just know if, from last week, I feel like he's done a pretty good job of stepping in and filling in some big shoes and doing what we needed him to do um, on this offense side of the ball uh, to basically go out and win games. And he did that for us last week, and we're expecting him to do that again this week. It's just an overall question of, 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 of terms of what this team has gone through the first four games. I mean, this has been a, a very tough stretch for you guys. And, you know, with injuries and everything, you guys have responded so well. What does that kind of say about how the makeup of this team has been through this tough stretch well, with everything considered? You know, you know we're resilient. Uh, that's one thing about this team that I've seen uh, ever since I got here is we're resilient and we're all gonna, always going to fight. And you never say die. Never. So, uh, you know. When the punches come, you got to roll with them and continue to, uh, to continue to fight for. And uh, next man up. That's why uh, <clears throat> there's a transition plan for probably everybody in here. There's somebody that's always ready to be able to step up when needed.